Most data analyst portfolios don't look good at all. And you probably don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. I see the same messy GitHub dumps, walls of unreadable code, and dashboards that simply look terrible. And then people wonder why they're getting ghosted by recruiters. But here's something that's really wild. I decided to test this theory, and I built a portfolio using the exact opposite approach of what everyone else is doing. Apply to about 50 data analyst jobs and track every single response. And the results? Let's just say hiring managers couldn't stop asking about it in interviews. Now, before someone else figures out the strategy and floods the market with copycat portfolios, I'm going to break down exactly what I did, why it works so well, and how you can build your own portfolio that gets you hired instead of ignored. By the end of this video, you'll know the three principles that separate winning portfolios from the digital trash most people are submitting. And you'll see the exact framework I use to land multiple interviews, and I'll show you the real examples of what actually gets hiring managers to pick up the phone and call you back. Now, whether you're just starting out or you've been applying for months with zero results, this is going to change how you think about showcasing your skills. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha, and five years ago, I was working warehouse shifts and delivering pizzas, making about $8 an hour. And today, I lead a community of over 60,000 aspiring and current data professionals, and I've helped thousands of career changers break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting money on courses that just don't work. And if you ever want to work one on one with me to land your first data analyst role in the next three to six months, click the link in the description so we can start working together ASAP. Now, let's start with the cold, hard truth that's going to sting a little. If you are watching this video, your portfolio probably sucks. And I'm not saying that to be mean, I'm saying it because I've reviewed hundreds, if not thousands of portfolios from aspiring data analysts and 95% of them make the same fatal mistakes. Here is what I see constantly. People just dump their projects on GitHub with zero organization, no clear navigation, no visual appeal, and just raw code files that no one wants to look through. Or they create massive walls of text explaining every single step of their analysis like they're writing a dissertation. Nobody has time for any of that. Hiring managers spend maybe 10 seconds, if that, looking at your portfolio before they decide if you're even worth their time. But here's what changed everything for me. I discovered that winning portfolios follow three simple principles that most people completely ignore. Principle number one, easy to access. Your portfolio needs to load fast, look professional, and work on any device. I'm talking clean design, clear navigation, and a link that actually works when someone clicks it. You'd be shocked how many times people send broken links or portfolios that take forever to load. If a hiring manager ever wants to see your projects, they simply can't. Principle number two, easy to navigate. Can someone understand your entire portfolio in under 10 seconds? The best portfolios are simple, visual, and fast to digest. Think one pagers, fake executive summary vibes. Recruiters and hiring managers don't have time to dig. If your layout is messy, buried in tabs, or takes more than 10 seconds to get, they're moving on. Your visuals, your layout, and your storytelling should say, here's what I did and here's why it mattered. Principle number three, easy to update. Your portfolio can't be some static GitHub repo that you set it up once and just forget about. It needs to be like a living document that you can refine and improve as you grow. And this is where most people fail. They'll build something that's very complex and takes them hours to even update one project. And then they eventually just don't altogether update it. So I put these principles to the test and I built a portfolio, find the exact same framework and apply to 50 data analyst positions in over 30 days. And here's the key. Instead of just submitting my resume like everyone else, I actually led with my portfolio in every application and networking message. The results were immediate. And within the first week, I even had three hiring managers reach out specifically mentioning my portfolio. One even said, this is exactly the kind of thinking that we need on our team. Another asked if I could just walk through my approach on a phone call. By the end of the 30 days, I had landed about three interviews with three companies. And in every single interview, Interview, the hiring manager brought up something specific from my portfolio. That's when I knew I was onto something. So let me break down what I included that made such a difference. First, I showcased three to five of my absolute best projects. Not everything that I ever built, just the cream of the crop. Each project featured strong visual elements, clean dashboards, clear charts, data storytelling that actually told a story and not made people confused. Here's another secret sauce that no one talks about. I included a consulting style slide deck. 
not just a technical analysis, but how I would present these insights to stakeholders, because that's what real analysts do on the job. They communicate their findings to decision makers. And I make sure every project solved a real business problem, not some academic exercise with perfect data, but messy real world scenarios that show that I could handle what companies actually deal with. And I kept the technical details accessible. Yes, I showed my code and methodology, but I didn't bear the insights under mountains of technical jargon. Now the proof was in the responses. Multiple job offers came directly from leading with this portfolio approach. Hiring managers would often say things like, we already see you thinking like an analyst or your portfolio shows the exact problem solving that we need. But here's what really convinced me that this works. Other people started doing the same approach and getting the same similar results. Students that I've coached have landed multiple roles at major companies using the portfolios built on these same principles. Your portfolio isn't just a showcase of your technical skills. It is your competitive edge when it's done right. And it's what separates you from the hundreds and thousands of other applicants who claim that they know SQL and can build dashboards. Most people treat their portfolios like an afterthought. They focus all of their energy on learning tools and just forget that presentation matters just as much as technical ability. I now have helped over thousands of other career changers break into data analytics and the ones who get hired fastest are always the ones who nail their portfolio presentation. It's not about just having the most complex projects. It's about showcasing your thinking process and business impact clearly. Now look, now you know exactly what separates portfolios and gets results from the ones that get ignored. You understand the three core principles that actually matter. And you've seen the proof that this approach works in the real world. The question isn't whether this strategy works, it's whether you're gonna actually implement it. Because while you're watching this video, someone else with less experience than you is already building their portfolio the right way and landing the interviews that you want. Your portfolio is your proof of work and it's your chance to show, not just tell what you can do. So make it count. If this helped you see portfolios in a completely new way, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what project that you're going to start featuring first. And if you're serious about landing your first data analyst role in the next three to six months, hit the link in the description and let's get you hired.